Well, um, you know, it's generally recognized that there are those two types of operations or two ways in which thoughts come to mind. Uh, you know, if I say two plus two, then something comes to your mind. And if I say 17 times 24, probably nothing comes to your mind immediately, but, but you can produce a solution if you know how to do it. It's 408, but that will take you some time. Uh -huh. And clearly, very different operations are involved. So <clears throat> those are sort of the basic cases, the basic illustrations of what system one thinking is and system two. System one is associative. It is immediate. Uh, we feel relatively passive when we experience thoughts in system one. You know, they just come to our mind. Uh, system two is different. We will it. We tend to be the authors of our thought. And most importantly, they demand some effort. Operating system two is work. It's mental work. And we know that, you know, it's uh, physiologically, uh, there are manifestations of its work. And psychologically, uh, we can't do too many things at once because when they demand work and so on. So those are, no, that's, those are the two characters. You can describe them as type 1 thinking and type 2 thinking, which in a way is more accurate. I prefer to have them as characters uh -huh. because I believe that people think more easily with characters than they do with types. And if you develop a personality for what I call system 1 and system 2, then you have a sort of clinical intuition about them. And, mm -hmm. and you're able to, to get a sense of how they will behave in different conditions. 